Uh, Sam just pulled up pictures of uh, Macho Man, Randy Savage. I guess he got married. What happened? What happened? I guess he got married, and however they got them or why ever they posted them, TMZ has pictures of Macho Man Randy Savage's wedding. I don't see that as being the Macho Man. No, he looks unrecognizably different. He's, uh... What's wrong with him? Is, is he fatter? I is guess... He, what, what, he's like, a little heavier, but he's still in good shape. He looks like a big biker. He's got a giant white... First of all, his hair is white. Yeah. And he's got a giant, thick, long, white beard. Not, I guess, in the long, but... And his, and his whole head has become almost totally bald. Well, he's bald, yeah. We kind of knew that, though, when he wore the bandanas. What do they used to look stuff. like? What's an old picture of... Uh, yeah, find an old picture of him. I'm, I'm going to get a little memory. He just looks like... He looks like almost like the guy that beat the black guy up on the bus now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Epic, epic Beard Man. Is that his name? Epic That's Beard Man. That's all they call him, is Epic Beard Man. Poor Epic Beard Man. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't really but he was also wore those giant sunglasses things macho man was my favorite when i was a kid was he yeah he was don't you realize you're still a stupid kid yeah well he so was... is he still your favorite do you, or do you mean song by the village people <laughs> <laughs> little queer <laughs> who's your favorite wrestler right now yeah uh cm punk i'm so out of the fucking loop i'm glad i don't know who that is i don't even know is he who like that bob is. backland <laughs> no no he's not even sort of similar to bob backland what does cm punk about strongbow is he like him yeah hey uh, in a circle yeah is he like uh who's the guy's fucking the, the, the classy freddie blassie <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's like classy freddie blassie right no <laughs> Oh, goddamn Obama. Punk. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Sorry. Oh, my God, Jimmy. <laughs> I love that commercial. So, um... <laughs> Uh, that you like okay, that guy Sawyer from Lost. You're gay. I don't know. I didn't say I was attracted to him. Lost well, tall boots. You said he's your favorite. Why is he your favorite? You're attracted to his character. No, I'm not attracted to any part, but I do enjoy his character. Because you are attracted to him. Yeah. I mean, in a sense. Well, that's what we're talking about. What does he do that makes him your favorite? He's, uh, well, he's very cool to watch in the ring. What's cool? Like, uh, cool is a very vague term right. as far as, like, what do you like? Do you like his body? Do you <laughs> no, like his does. tattoos? His fucking hard, big cock. His hair? <laughs> I've never uh, seen that. His, his little fucking Well, he has a great, shorts. he has a great look. The tattoos and stuff, it's a good look. So physically, as fight. far as so pro yeah, wrestling goes, attracted to he's his, got a good look. His physicality. Yeah, yeah. You you really kind of like the way he looks as a man. Furthermore, he's a very good talker. He's very good on the mic. So you yeah. enjoy his personality. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. As well as his looks. He's as far looks, as appreciating him as a wrestler, his tats. Yes. What does the uh, tat on his abs say? Straight edge. He's straight edge his, too. His whole gimmick is that he's a he's straight edge, and it means he's better than everybody else. And isn't, so he tells people he's better than them because he doesn't do drugs, and then they boo him. Isn't the straight edge thing a little passe? Yeah, but I mean, he got it tattooed on, so he can't really. So he's straight edge for life. Yeah, I mean, it's so did, across his stomach. So did old intern Pat Duffy. Yeah, but he was already oh, drinking. He was yeah. past the straight edge a portion of his life, but he he had already had straight edge tattooed on Why? his body. Why yeah. would you do that? He got a straight edge tattoo when he was eighteen, and by the time he was twenty one, he was drinking and smoking weed. <laughs> Dumb straight edge. It's like if you're gonna be straight edge, you better be pretty old at this point, yeah. so you could be sure that you're just not gonna. I don't think you can be straight edge before you're legally allowed to drink. Yeah, <laughs> like you shouldn't. That's just called being not allowed to drink. Right. And then once you're al allowed to go into some bars and stuff, uh, you might regret that straight edge tat. Yeah, for sure. So you like it that he's straight edge? No, I mean you I like, like that the, the if way you it... to hung out. It would be a nice sober evening. No, I mean I, I don't think about us hanging. I like oh, the don't? character he portrays and the way he portrays it. And what's his attitude? He, he's better oh, than everybody. Yes, he's much better than everybody. And Is he, he tries, a heel? He's a big time heel. He's cocky. Yeah, he's oh. cocky. Yeah, yeah. Like he probably like he throws guys down and just jumps on them, right? Yeah, Is yeah. He, Is he cocksure? <laughs> 
I guess you could say that. I think I've been using that every day. You yeah. should. <laughs> and he's got a, he's got a posse with him in Straight Edge Society. Do you wish you were a member oh. of his posse? Oh wow. Well, I, I would like to join, but he makes them shave their head, which I don't know if I'd be willing Why? to do that to sh- show their loyalty. He's like a messiah. Yeah. Like oh, Manson. Used, you know, Manson used to make his yeah squeaky from and all those shave their heads, so he's like a Manson character. Correct. Oh, yeah, because he's got uh, long hair. And he's the only one who's allowed to have long hair. Long, flowing hair. Right. He, a Locks. girl joined, and he made her Serena. Oh, Serena had to no. shave her head. Wow. Yeah. And Luke Gallows. Does he hold any uh, titles? He has. He's not yeah. currently holding any titles, but he's been. He's a multiple-time world heavyweight champion. Wha- no way. That's true. Like the same title that was held by Hulk Hogan. Correct. And, and Rick Flair, H. the nature boy. Right. Yes. Wow. Randy the Macho Man Savage. Who has the uh, heavyweight championship belt now? Jack Swagger, the All-American American. He's also a heel. Jack Swagger. Yes. Jack let me let punch up a picture of uh, the handsome Jack Swagger. Is he handsome? Yes. Well, that's his whole thing. But he also has a lisp. So he's a bad guy, and the good guys make fun of his lisp. Oh, they do? <laughs> yeah. Like a gay lisp? Oh, what's the matter there, Chip? <laughs> Jack Swagger. I want to know, uh, how come Jack has a wagger and I don't have one? Could it be Chip Swagger or somebody else have you're, one? You're very funny with improv on on um, uh, plurals. Yeah, of course I am. I've noticed when something is pluralized, you can really make a good joke of it, Chip. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's him right there. There you go. Saying, hey, guys, I'm number one. Looks ah. like, he looks like uh, a cream pie Jones if he <laughs> worked out. <laughs> he really he looks does. like cream pie if he worked out and didn't put shit on his hands and head. <laughs> cream <laughs> pie. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Dude. I did love cream pie. He was this, uh, maybe the second best. Oh, best? it was so David. great talking David. about you love him. David? I loved him. There's not the a day that day. goes by. I don't wish he was here. David. He I'm, was so important to this He was show. quite he was, a right? weirdo. He was. he was quite a weirdo. Uh, he was a sociopath. He didn't understand yeah. what a kook he was. Yeah, he had no social skills. He couldn't communicate with people no. at all. But he was head intern, so... Executive. Uh, uh, today we got CM Punk. Speaking of wrestlers, he's yeah. like the number one guy, right? Sam? He's the guy right now. Yeah, he's super popular. He's the guy. He is the main guy, and he's going to be on our show at eight fifteen. We're very excited. I never heard of him. I haven't followed wrestling in a while. He's talked a lot of shit about the McMahon's on TV. Oh boy, that's right. Look out. Should we play that promo that put him over the top? Yeah. Or is that going to be a waste of time for people out there? I don't I like think to hear because so. I, I don't know who he is. No, uh, uh, Sam. Sam says that this is one of the best promos made in in recent years, right? I mean, yeah, it, it completely. Even Travis, like Travis, watched wrestling when it was, you know, cool, right? Uh, and has stopped watching wrestling since. Right. By cool, you mean good? No, that's no. not what I mean, Travis. But and he started watching again because yeah. of his promo. Also, this Brian Regan stopping by today, and uh, I don't know how to say her name, but she's a a, a, a really Eliza Eliza Schlesinger. Yes, Thank I haven't you. seen her in a while. She's a very uh, hot. Female comic. And she's funny. And she's she, funny as well. One as last comic. Hot. Yes. I don't know her well, but I know her just from the circuit and from LA and stuff. And uh, just the fact that Roland couldn't say her name, this idiot. He kept going, what did he keep calling her? Ilse Schlesinger. Ilse Schlesinger. And if you want to see Ilse Schlesinger, she's going to be here. Yeah, so what? she's stopping by too. I think she's playing Caroline's. I don't know. I think I was Googling. Ilsa. She's playing Caroline. <laughs> <Yeah>. Shut up. <laughs> God, that douche. You didn't like his version? <laughs> no, it's terrible. Because it was in Anthony's territory. Oh. He, said he picked Anthony's song. That's such a dick move. If you do Sweet Caroline, you got to sing it like fucking Neil. Come on. She's Just, not at Caroline. There was a million songs he could have picked. He yeah. picked that one. Yeah. Where is she? I have no idea where she is because. Uh, when I was trying to get her plug information, I was looking up until next weekend, and that's Isla. Isla the Schlesinger Major is going to be here. Yeah, for two weeks, we're only telling us that Isla, yeah, Isla, Isla is coming in. Yeah, Isla's going to be here. Comedian, yeah. she's going to be here. Last time again, she's going to be here. All right, let's uh, let's go through the CM Punk promo. Okay, how long ago was this? this over was the summer. In June. Okay, and it complete. Yeah, it, it put him on the next level. It, it put him over the top. That, it made him a main event. One guy. fucking spot. One promo. And he is he number one. Yeah, he's he's fighting in the world title, match, the WWE title match. No, I don't care who got who has the titles in general. I mean, as far as 
he's like the heat. number one wrestler yeah. right now his, as far as heat goes. He's one of the first guys whose t shirt is outselling John Cena's t shirt. Oh my so god! That's how you... Does he have a popular shirt, John Cena? John Cena, all of John Cena's shirts. What are about uh, the Not Sam shirt? Almost as popular as the CM Punk shirt. Wow. Damn. Although I didn't see, I saw a couple live from the compound shirts at the Hard Rock. Yes, not you one, did. Not Sam shirt. No, that's no. a shame. That is sad. All right, let's hit this. Struts right up there. Leaving, but I'm afraid we're going to hear more from Punk. Turns around. I don't know. Who's laying in the ground? John, that's John, John Cena. Cena. He had just been put through a table. Ah, oh, uh, no. he seems to have injured John Cena oh, a little boy, bit. I hope he's okay. John's been on our show. Yes. Yeah, I like John. And now he's going to, um, I don't know, talk about it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. John Cena speared. John Cena, while you... You lay there, hopefully as uncomfortable as you possibly can be. I want you to listen to me. I want you to digest this, because before I leave in three weeks with your WWE Championship, oh. I have a lot of things I want to get off my chest. The backstory is he was going into a WWE Championship match, and uh, he didn't have his contract re-signed. Oh. That's the backstory. Oh. I love the fact these dumbbells are just booing. Well, yeah, yeah. just... Dopes. It's entertainment. It's entertainment. I guess. So. Entertainment. I, I was all I was all in for a while. But I, yeah, but when you really thought there was animosity, when you know that they've rehearsed every move, I don't. I think it's still fun. Right. But to be booing, no, yeah, it's, it's like a, booing in a movie theater. You tell him that well, when no, he comes you, in here. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> no, I don't you? have a problem with him. It's the fans booing. I I, I would. I mean, I would have been cheering him, but I would boo other people. I'll be booing yeah. at Survivor Series on Sunday. Ah. All right. Hit it. I don't hate you, John. Oh. I don't even dislike you. I do like you. I like you a hell of a lot more than I like most people in the back. I hate this idea that you're the best. Because you're not. I'm the best. I'm the best in the world. There's Whoa. one thing. Bo Hitch, can you pause this? You're I love the fact that the way they did this, Cena just has to lay there like he's in pain and yeah, can't yeah. move. Well, you take a, you know, you take a spear through a table. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. You know what I mean? That's, That's good. Right. That'll, that'll do it. <laughs> Fair that'll enough. do it. All right, you're right, Sam. Better at than I am. And that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. Whoa. We don't talk about the boss. You're as good as kissing Vince's ass as Hulk Hogan was. What? Oh, Hogan works yes. for a different company. That's oh, not nice. oh man! Can't Hulk Hogan. He's, he's bringing no, it up, though. He's no Hulkamaniac. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Shut up, you Brenna Center fucking hack. Who is better in front of the mic, Hulk Hogan or The Rock? Oh, The Rock. The Rock. Would I would. I would jump on that one in a second. Oh, okay. Rock all the fucking way. But Macho Man, way better actually. It's fucking great. Macho Man was great. I love Macho. Macho was better than Hulk. Yeah. Who's the best ever in front of the mic? Rock. I would say Steve Austin. Oh. Was he right? oh, Stone Cold. Mm -hmm. Fuck, Sam. You might have just fucking oh. trumped me. Stone Cold. Stone I'll tell Cold him that when I see him good. soon. Did you see Steve Austin? I am. Um, can I go? No. Are you going to be in a movie with him? No. What about Warrior? <laughs> Warrior was not great. <laughs> Warrior <laughs> says. Warrior, was Warrior <gasps> says that Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, Shut you up. Wow, you would give Steve Austin over The Rock. Now I you got me put, thinking. Rock you got, had some shit. Fucking amazing! The best Mike guys are Stone Cold, The Rock, yeah. Ric Flair, yeah. Shawn Michaels, yeah. I guess Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Hulk, you'd put up in the top five? He, I mean, he got people to go to shows. No, uh, th th that's fine, but because it, it was the total package. Yeah, we're right, talking yeah. just Mike shit right now. Yeah, I don't think Hulk should be in the top five. How about the Shockmaster? Shockmaster, <laughs> Shockmaster was great. What about Mick Foley? Mick Foley's good. He's not up. He's not with Hulk Hogan better than Mick Foley. I can't say that. No, oh. Mick Foley's probably better than Hulk Hogan. Thank you. And that's I, the, I think so. That's the package thing you were talking about. Hulk Hogan relied on him being just a giant, blonde muscle man, whereas Mick Foley really had to be. He good. had to work hard. He had yeah. to be good on the mic. Yep. Hit it. I don't know if you're as good as Dwayne, though. He's a pretty good ass kisser. He's talking about The Rock. Oh, the Rock. Always was and still is. Oops! Oh. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I am the best wrestler in the world. Ooh. 
Cool. I've been the best ever since day one when I walked into this company. And I've been vilified and hated since that day because Paul Heyman saw something in me that nobody else wanted to admit. That's right, I'm a Paul Heyman guy. You know who else was a Paul Heyman guy? Brock Lesnar. And he split just like I'm splitting, but the biggest difference between me and Brock is I'm going to leave with the WWE Championship. Oh boy. Can you pause it? Here's one thing people like about this guy. He's not yelling. Yeah. He's not screaming like a dope. He's one of these logical speaking villains. Yeah, he's, but he's a good talker. He sounds like he's not yelling and making a ruckus. And also, a lot of this stuff that he's talking about was based in truths that, like, you know, all the internet rumors. Yeah, yeah. And he's addressing all this stuff, and nobody knows right. whether this is, you know, real or fixed. How long is it taking Cena to get up, for oh. fuck's sake? Come I would have been up already twice. I know. <laughs> He's just laying there, relaxed. Stop napping. I grabbed so many of Vincent K. McMahon's imaginary brass rings that it's finally dawned on me that they're just that. They're completely imaginary. The only thing that's real is me and the fact that day in and day out, for almost six years, I have proved to everybody in the world that I am the best on this microphone, in that the ring, best, even Jerry, in commentary. The best. Nobody can touch me. And yet, no, how many, no matter how many times I prove Get it. Get up, Cena, for fuck's sake. I'm not on your lovely little collector cups. I'm not on the cover of the program. I'm barely promoted. I don't get to be in movies. I'm certainly not on any crappy show on the USA Network. <laughs> I'm not on the poster of WrestleMania. I'm not in the signature that's produced at the start of the show. I'm not on Conan O'Brien, I'm not on Jimmy Fallon, but the fact of the matter is I should be, and trust me, this isn't sour grapes, but the fact that Dwayne is in the main event of WrestleMania next year and I'm not makes me sick. <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne. Well, he's a force to be reckoned with, I think. Oh, hey, let, let me get something straight. Those of you who are cheering me right now, you are just the biggest part of me leaving as anything else. <laughs> because you're the ones that are sipping out of those collector cups right now. You're the ones that buy those programs that my face isn't on the cover of. And then at 5 in the morning at the airport, you try to shove it in my face so you can get an autograph and try to sell it on eBay because you're too lazy to go get a real job. <laughs> uh, he's, he's healing it up pretty good. Yeah, he is. He's good. Calling I'm the leaving crowd with out. the WWE Championship on July 17th and hell. Who knows? Maybe I'll go defend it in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Maybe I'll go back to Ring of Honor. What? Whoa. Those Talking other, about other promotions. Crazy yeah. shit. So do you think guys like being heels more than good guys? It's way funner. It is, right? Because yeah. you just get to attack the crowd who yeah. they probably all hate anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of dopes. Yeah. <laughs> do you think they enjoy insulting the crowd? They love it. <laughs> I've, never met, I've never met one wrestler who says he prefers being a babyface. Really? Yeah. Ever. They call him babyface and heels? Mm -hmm. Who Who's like the ultimate babyface that never turned? John Cena is right now. Oh, he's the loved guy? Yeah, but everybody wants him to turn because he's been, you know, babyface mm -hmm. for so long. Everybody yeah. hates him. Will he turn? Yeah, he will. And when they turn, do people know what it is? It's part of the whole thing, they understand? Or are there people that really believe oh, it? Well, they're that's... like, still real to me! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was always the best part of wrestling. The kids are like... When you were all turn. in with the guy, and all of a sudden he's like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. You just hit the wrong guy with the chair. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand what's going on. It's like when Stone Cold shook Vince McMahon's hand, and everybody went... No! No, yeah. no. If it's yeah. done right, it's so fucking awesome it to is. watch, man. When Bob Backlund got hit by the... He was the best Mike guy. <laughs> I just want to go in there and do the best I can and try to pin him according to the rules. <laughs> 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 Enough about Bob Backlund. You don't think he was a good Mike guy? Bob Backlund. He's horrible. You didn't like Bob Backlund? <laughs> He's a lunatic. He's people, a good champion. People are saying, a bunch of them, Sam, uh, Chris Jericho should be in the top five as far as uh, Mike guys. Chris Jericho Jericho's, was fucking great. Was he good? Very good. Yeah. I think he's a strong guy. In what, general? Like physically? Oh, yes. fuck yeah. <laughs> yes, I think he's, he's muscular. Hey, Cole Cabana, how you doing? The reason I'm leaving is you people, because after I'm gone, you're still going to pour money into this company. I'm just a spoke on the wheel. The wheel's going to keep turning, and I understand that. But Vince McMahon's going to make money despite himself. He's a millionaire who should be a billionaire. You know why he's not a billionaire? It's because he surrounds himself 
with glad handing nonsensical yes men like back. John yeah. Laurinaitis who's going to tell him everything that he wants to hear. By the way, like pause. You think... want to show balls as a wrestler? Start going after the campaign. Make, yeah, make yeah. fun uh, of the bad uh, campaign. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. You know? <laughs> she has yes, no man. shot at winning. <laughs> <laughs> like John Laurinaitis who's going to tell him everything that he wants to hear. And I'd like to think that maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. But the fact is, <laughs> it's, it's going to get taken over by his idiotic daughter and his doofus son-in-law and the rest of his stupid family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me tell funny. you a personal story about Vince McMahon. John Cena's right? still laying there hurt. Can we do this whole bully camp? Uh, his mic got shut off. Oh, no. He turned his mic off. He turned his mic off. Wow. He want to hit the personal story out there. Oh. Vince isn't happy. He turned his mic off. But then, I mean, they did the gimmick really good. He won, yeah. the, he won the title yeah. at the pay-per-view, and then he, quote-unquote, left the company, and then a week later he showed up at Comic-Con in San Diego as a fan, just holding the belt. He was walking around on the floor, and so people were taking pictures of him. He showed up at a couple indie wrestling shows with the belt, yeah. and so it was like, whoa. What, and then he, I mean, obviously he came back. But this promo put him over. So he's, he's the biggest baby face there is right now. He's a he's, baby face now. Now he is. I mean, the, you can't when you do a heel promo that is that good that that many people like. Oh damn! You don't have a choice. You cannot stay heel because everybody cheers. So how you. do how they crazy. how do they turn him baby face after they, this? Everybody cheered. Like he, yeah, you become cheered. Or was there an actual it, thing that happened that all of a no. sudden he showed the crowd? No, I'm actually a, a good guy. No. It's just like Stone Cold. It was like enough people are cheering you that it's just what it is now. Wow, that's cool. Because they like you, even though they, they think you're being a dick, they still like you. You can they be just... a badass uh, right. baby face, yeah. Oh, all right. You don't so, have to be a pussy. And it's like we, they couldn't book him facing their baby faces because they cheered him more than the baby faces. Did he? Did he? So who does he fight now? He fights the heels now. He's fighting like Alberto Del Rio. Okay. Did he oh. beat John Cena? He beat John Cena. In a pay-per-view? Uh, yes. Uh, so he's the champion. No, 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 no. John Cena. No, 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 no. Lots of controversy around it oh, right now. Oh boy, I bet. Yeah, Albert. So, I won't drag you through it, but Alberto Del Rio is the champion so right why now. Why don't you interview him? I would love to interview him. We don't know shit about this. What, I, I just, know about it. We'll, I, we'll, we'll go get coffee. We won't leave for the day. Okay. You talk to him for a half Franchise. hour. Franchise. We'll come back. Listen, Franchise. I'm not going to stop you for doing that. Because we're going to look silly. I don't know. All, I don't know, know any of this shit. I do. You do? Yeah. All right, good. Jimmy, yeah, heel Jimmy. turn, punk, baby face. Perfect. That's all I need is those three words. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> by the hair, which Sam, they and, By the way, Sam is doing the I'm nervous yawn. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam just did the I'm nervous because oh, really? the guy I like is coming yawn. Uh-oh. <laughs> here he comes right now. CM Punk. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Shut up, stupid. Hey, man. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, take a seat, man. Sam. Hey. Sam fucking yeah. is nervous. Sam Roberts. It's all... Ah, Sam is like a... He's in the he's in the presence of greatness right now. Yes, sir. He's in the presence of greatness, so he's a little nerve-wracked. He, he, he's a super fan. You know that by now. Yeah, yeah. But Everyone why, you, from the WWE next to Jim knows. Norton. How, how often you're not nervous? Oh. <laughs> oh. Comedian extraordinaire, Jim Norton. Yeah. You guys are going to hate the fact that I'm a big Jim Norton fan. I know. Oh, thank see, you very much. And we do yes. hate that yes. when people That's awesome. know Jim and talk about how great he is. And not that he isn't. Thank you. But it, I just hate that it, it feeds him. It kind of hurts a little on the inside. Yeah, a I mean, I get, I get hit in the head for a living, and I already forgot the name of the show, but the, uh, the Colin <laughs> Quinn show. Oh, yeah. yeah, God, God, did I love Thanks, Tough man. Crowd. That show is so awesome. But that's yeah. just going to bum out, Jimmy. That's one of our favorite things. <laughs> I'm Colin serious. Too. It's one of my favorite yeah, things. That show is so amazing, and it's so hard to get anything like that that like I thought was kind of ahead of its time. There's no yeah. reason why that show should have went away. Yeah. No well, reason whatsoever. The, the reason is because the general population is stupid. Yeah, and we got a lot of complaints about telling. content, like too many rape jokes. Like they, <laughs> you know, Nick DiPaolo is just fucking is, is Nick, and, and we would just hit a little bit harder than I guess that they they well, wanted. How about they have a little talk with you guys and see if you can work something out? They tried that in college. Oh, they did. I can't imagine uh, that working. I would yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it, it was what it was. Those guys yeah. down. They wanted they wanted Chappelle to have race, John Stewart to have politics, and us to have pop culture. And Colin yeah. said, if I go to these guys with that, they'll fucking kill me. I can't tell yeah. them just to talk about Britney Spears. And uh, that was the doom. And that was it. Good <laughs> for Colin. Yeah. And please don't sign Sam's 
Just chair. The chair. Please okay. refuse to sign <laughs> well, Sorry. Unless sorry, Sam, takes, Sam. A, takes a hit with it. Yeah, I think so. A oh. real hit, though. We're swinging chairs now. <laughs> 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 Sam's all, uh, yeah, we, giddy. We heard your promo. Uh, it was great. We played it, yeah, just to familiarize ourselves and just kind of get into the end. Yeah, before the match Holy fuck, where, where you won the uh, belt. Uh, uh, that, that that was a good one. The yeah. famous one from June. Okay, yeah. That the one, that going one from Vegas. That kind of threw you over the top. Yeah. yeah. I know this because Sam told us this. It was yes. unlike uh, <laughs> many, uh, you know, um, uh, mic work uh, that I've seen in the past from wrestlers. That's Not good. much yelling. No. You weren't doing I, a lot I'm of not, yelling. I am not uh, a yelling and screaming guy. And still to this day, I'll, I'll, I'll sit in back during our shows and I'll watch guys go out there and I'll always ask myself, why are you screaming? <laughs> what are you yelling at? <laughs> Who are you yelling yeah. at? Like, why are you, just, you know, like, but, yeah. all right. But it's got to take confidence to sit there like you did and be like just even tempered as you're, as you're saying some amazing shit. I, w I mean, I'm I'm full of piss and vinegar. I was right. I was pissed. I've right. been pissed for so long. I, yeah, I think it, that's what resonated. You know, yeah. resonated. And I, we we had a discussion. Top five mic guys. Okay. What would your What would your list be? Oh man, that's that's Off the really, top of your head. I know. I mean, that's you might miss one. Will you that's understand? a great question, though. Uh, I appreciate that question a lot because uh, you're right up there now. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm I, I'm a complete. Uh, the egomaniac at times, but I will not throw my name in the top mic guys of all time. I mean, you Piper's up there. Yeah, uh, we God. didn't mention Piper really. Yeah, we forgot. I was no, getting too Piper angry tweets though. that we didn't mention Piper. Well, you I know, took I my mean, number one is Backland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> be really I thought Macho <laughs> Man was great. He, he yeah, was, he, he was well, really I mean, fun. He was great. There's so many. We went with so, Rock, Stone so Cold, guys. Hulk. I didn't. I didn't agree with the Hulk. Uh, Who else did we have in that? Dusty list? Rhodes, Sean. Yeah. Dusty Michaels. Rhodes was good, right? I remember as a kid, I, I, like I Dusty Rhodes cut some some amazing promos. The Hard Times promo comes to mind. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, that stuff is awesome. I like Hulk Renner centered bits. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, oh God. Man. Oh God! You need a TV brother. Hey, what what's oh, wrong with boy. Troy Aikman? Is he like did he lose uh, his house or something? Like, I what know. Is, <laughs> he doing? He's doing the Renner Center, Renner Center commercials, commercials, commercials with Hogan. Like, did he get oh, divorced? Did his wife yeah. take everything? Like, what that's you... right, Troy. Oh boy! Why the fuck haven't we brought that <laughs> oh, up I didn't yet? Know that. It's yeah. terrible. We should have brought that up. You're right. Yeah, he has enough just, money. Doesn't the first do thing shit. I think of when I see that? I go, yeah. What are you doing, Troy? Going through a divorce, right? Yeah, it's the first thing I thought of. he must have some sort of a gambling problem. Why Hulk is on there after he got everything taken? away from his my life. My favorite oh. Hulk moment and you don't have to comment because I don't know your relationship when he was doing that reality show and he's going through the divorce and the separation and he was on a boat oh, yeah, that was visiting great. his old waterfront mansion <laughs> and, and, he, and him he and his daughter do it by the boat. and I hate to say this but him and his daughter are now crying. I fucking howled. It was the funniest <laughs> oh, fucking brother. thing. brother! <laughs> my house, brother! <laughs> and then, first world problems. And then first <laughs> world problems. I used to live in that mansion and now I'm looking at it while I'm on my boat. <laughs> no, it's a, it was a shitty boat. Sucks. Which, uh, yeah. it, it's a shitty boat which makes it better. And then it's <laughs> still, it's a boat. And then know? it's like, and then his old do <laughs> then his old dogs want to say hi, but he's not allowed to like go on shore. So not allowed on my property, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so the dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> poor Hulk. Yeah, I don't know guy. why that makes us laugh. It's because you know, I hear other, it's other right people's guy. misfortune makes us. It really laugh, is. It just uh, it makes you feel better. I laugh about when yourself. bad stuff happens to me. You know. Yeah. I, I, I want to be the first one to laugh at it. So you know, everyone <laughs> everyone else is going to laugh at it. I might as well get in on the joke. Takes sure. the sting out of it a little yeah. bit. Just to yeah. kind of address it and own it and make fun of it. Mm -hmm. What uh, now? Now what 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 happened? Uh, you you won the title. Uh huh. Uh, and as you said, you were going to do left. Mm -hmm. Um. Why are you back? Um, I, I'm back legitimately, and because I'm, I just turned 33. Uh, I was pretty burnt out for a while because a lot of people don't realize that I haven't just been doing this since I debuted on TV for WWE in 2006. I've been doing this since 1997. Oh wow! You yeah. know, and uh, you know, obviously I'm doing it on a different level now, but I've never, ever, ever taken a break ever. You know, and and the last like two years of my career has been pretty brutal. I'm <laughs> sure you guys are familiar with the, the ridiculous travel schedule and yeah. like, what we do. And like um, last summer, I got my uh, I got my my first surgery. Yay! I had oh, my uh, I had my elbow scoped. Nothing nothing serious, you know. But I didn't miss a beat. I didn't miss a show. I like got my elbow scoped in Birmingham like on a Tuesday, 
and I was, you know, I was at work on on Monday. You so you know? just tell I, the guys, hey, kind of watch the elbow. <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah, it's guys, just like on. that's just my mentality. Like, you know, wrestlers, we're not the smartest guys, you know, <laughs> and it's always been like rub dirt on it, put tape on it, you yeah, know, whatever. ice it afterwards, you're fine. And then uh, I, 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 I. I if I affectionately say in October, I exploded my hip. I um, I tore my gluteus medius tendon, which I didn't even know what that was. It apparently attaches my pelvis to uh, like some other you know bone in my. I'm leg gluteus like medius. That. So they told Are me. Are you not they, entertained? They, <laughs> they told me uh, I tore it off the bone, oh and gosh. I went to Nashville to get surgery. And then thank God the the doctor wasn't cut happy, and he gave me a pre op MRI, and he was like, "Okay, I don't know if you're Wolverine or what the deal is." And he showed me the first MRI. He was like, "Torn off the bone," and then he showed me his MRI, and he's like, "Not torn off the oh, bone." Oh man. Kind of crawled back uh, yeah, on there. Yeah, I don't know. And that doesn't happen, you know? No. So I was just like, well, whatever. Okay. So it's like, you know, you call back up and he was like, oh, I'm just going to do rehab. And they're like, great. See you Monday. And I was like, wow. You're, I, you're a mutant. Awesome. awesome. So is that a wrong yeah. MRI they showed you, you think? Yeah, I don't know. First one? Yeah, pretty weird, right? Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. a sketchy doctor. Half your ass pretty much fell off. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have much of an ass to begin <laughs> with. So I like to try to hold on to it. Yeah. But yeah, I just, you know, I never I never had a break. So I was, I was burnt out and I was legitimately like, well, I'm just going to go home for a while. Yeah, take you know, I could afford yeah, it, break, I, yeah. you know, just and I and the thing is, I wasn't trying to wrestle anywhere else. I was I was trying to go home, right? Mm -hmm. Legit, like sit on my right. sit on my couch. Yeah. So when you did that promo, it was, it was half real. I would say it was hundred percent real. <laughs> I mean, I you yeah, know, that one wait, just looked like a little too honest. But that's taking some chances. Uh, well, Vin, we know Vince a little bit. He he lo he secretly loves all that shit. Well, yeah. Like, here's yeah. Here's the thing. And if you guys you kind of knew you could get away with it, with probably. Vince, oh yeah. If if you whatever you do is good, he doesn't care. Yeah. If it's good, he likes it. If it makes him money, he's happy. And I, for some reason, have a great radar of what is good and what is bad. Sometimes, sometimes I've been wrong, you know, but that's why I love what I do. I love live television because I mm -hmm. can go out there and I, I can do whatever I do, you know, like whatever they hand me. They... They hand me a giant script. They're like, here, go say this. And I look at it, and I'm like, this is crap. This isn't going to work. And I go out there, and I go in the complete opposite direction. And I come back, and it's great. They're just like, yeah, whatever. So yeah, if it works, yeah. it works. A lot of right. people would say that the, that when you were on the mic that day, it was all, you know, fake. Mm -hmm. But it, you're telling us it was partly real. Well, it, it, to me, I, I liken that to the the fake chair thing, which I still get to this day. You know, like, oh, well, you know, you go, how does it feel? You know, how do you feel when you guys hit each other with a fake chair? Oh, yeah, no, and fake I'm like, wait, what the fuck is a fake chair? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a real <laughs> chair. Is it a figment of my imagination? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Right. You know, like what? He, he, all right, all right, right. You know, it's a genuine chair. We we know that. Yeah. yeah. When they said wrestlers back in the day would actually cut themselves with a razor to get to make it bloodier, I le I respected them more for that. I'm like, you voluntarily cut the, your fucking the, head with isn't a razor. That the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. Like that's just, <laughs> that's showmanship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's an illness. That's yeah. not showmanship. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. You know. You, you uh, never cut yourself. Bleed. Have I? Yeah. I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all, you know, we're, we're right, right around the ha hairline. I hear is the best place, right? Uh, so it, you hide a little bit. Yeah, bit. but how do you tell when you're doing it? You're just like ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. And then get, uh, get hit repeatedly in that spot. Uh, oh, it's fucking crazy. Man. Yeah. Nothing better when the wrestlers were bleeding when we were yeah. growing up. You're like fuck. The whole that's awesome. the whole canvas would just be covered. Oh, man. You know oh, what? Though, some God. of the old school guys like Harley Race, they know how to bust your eyebrow open. That's oh, really shit. that's really intense. Well, they know how to just fucking. Yeah, he tried to do it to me one time, just because Oof. like I'm I'm sick in the head and I'm so uh, infatuated with like the old school and like you know the tradition and stuff like that. And I'm friends with Harley, and he was, um, I think he was managing somebody or something like that. I've done shows for Harley, and I was just like, yeah, do my eyebrow, yeah, do it, you know. Like I was like, this is great. It's Harley Race. He's gonna do my shit. eyebrow. Yeah, and he just wound up like punching me in the face a bunch of times. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> like, All of a sudden, you realize there's no real secret behind it. He's just yeah, punching you in the yeah, face just... until you bleed. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I bled. It was really disappointing. Oh, shit. Uh, and Puddle of AIDS writes, Aikman just got divorced. So there's oh, your whoa! answer. Ah, there's, there's your the answer. answer. Sorry, the guys, answer. So I Sorry Troy. So now you, you you come back. Yeah. And uh, where do you stand now with uh, with WWE? And uh, what's your position there? Um. You know, it. I mean, it's funny because, you know, like I was this anti-establishment guy and everybody latched on to what I said. And then I turned around and I went back. So, of course, there was people that were like, oh, you're a sellout. Right, and, right. And this and that. But like I, 
I had a lot of uh, uh, wise people that I talked to about, you know, should I resign? Should I go away? What should I do? And I, 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 I got a good support system. And um, one of the wisest things I was told was you can't change the place for, for the better or for the worse sitting on your couch. Mm. And uh, I, I still am a sucker for professional wrestling. Uh, and I, I think it hasn't been as good as it can be. Yeah. You know, and I'm, you know, I'm slowly but surely, you know, making steps to, I guess, ensure that in 20 years there's still pro wrestling, whether yeah. people like it or not. It, you know, because uh, I, I do get spooked sometimes that maybe, the, you know, this isn't going to be around. Does I, MMA scare you with that? Like the, 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 especially with Brock going over? No, I love MMA. You do? Yeah. yeah I'm too. a huge MMA guy. Yeah. And I, I, I embrace MMA. And I think a lot of people who don't, um, I, 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 who don't think it's our, our competition, uh, I, I think they're kind of scared of it, you know. Hmm. How many days a year do you wrestle? Uh, that is a that is a great question. I don't know. I probably almost every week, right? Well, yeah, no, it's 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 every week. Yeah. I mean, my normal schedule is you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, I'd say fifty percent of the year I do Tuesdays. I, uh, mm. And I asked, then we have wow. we have international tours where you know I just got Crazy. back from Europe. We did twelve twelve days straight in Europe. Huge in Europe, right? Yeah. I asked yeah. because, uh, like you said earlier, we talked to a lot of you guys, and the schedule kills you. Yeah. And I I just wonder if you have to still do that type of schedule in, in nowadays. Um, do you have to not, really do that many local shows? Because th those are the ones that aren't on TV or anything. Yeah, that's my bread and butter. I, I love it. The, it is. Yeah, huh? we're we're supposed to call them live events now, but oh, you know, not but the house, house shows. shows. Yeah. I, I'm a, they're house live shows. events, right? You know, and that that's my bread and butter. That's where you know I don't, I'm not constrained by you know uh, commercial breaks or you know TV time and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I get to do whatever really I want. It. Oh my God, is it fun? But Vince feels like he still has to have that type of a schedule for his uh, company, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's important to you know like hit. I, 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 there's a lot of time. There's a lot of places I think we we oversaturate. You know, because we're we're infamous for finding something that's good and we just beat the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yeah. like oh, Mexico's really good for us right now. Oh, we're gonna go and, and then you know the next Constantly thing you know, a year Mexico, later, yeah. you're like, wow, these Mexico shows aren't drawing so good. You know, just, <laughs> well, you just did. Yeah, we were exactly, just yeah. talking. We just, we just did Monterey six days in a row. You know. Like, yeah, we were talking about the same thing. Yeah, they're killing yeah. each other down there. <laughs> yeah, Mexico's uh, frightening, man. Oh, it's pretty brutal. Yeah. What do they do when you go down there? Do you stay in a secure hotel or do you have military guards? Uh, we, <clears throat> when we did Monterey, which I guess is, uh, you know, really shady. It's mm. not Juarez level shady. Right. But it's it's but up it's, there. Yeah. Um, we flew in uh, on a charter and had like just, I don't even, I don't know if they were military, but they had guns. Yeah. <laughs> They were they were strapped. I yeah. Mean, like every, like everything. They had ankle pieces and. You know, one guy had a shotgun, and then you know, and then they they escort us to the show in like these you know jeeps on either <laughs> side, and then right after the show, escort right back on the charter, fly out. So we oh, you even, fly right we out. We didn't even stay in Monterey. Okay. So wow, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, it's you know, it's hot. When <laughs> they get scared of uh, kidnappings and stuff, yeah, one of you guys is. would be pretty valuable, I think. If they yeah, could put well, the, I, I, uh, I put wouldn't be worried on about you. one of us. I'd be worried about one of the girls. Yeah, that too. All right. Well, but yeah. they would probably go, I'll be honest, they would probably take one of the guys for the money. That's why yeah. Giuliani went down and he brought his own, he wouldn't let me, he didn't trust Mexican security, he brought his own guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. He went, yeah, it's just a frightening, makes sense. frightening time. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. one time we were in like Panama City or something like that, and, and they were literally like, do not leave the hotel. <laughs> and then, um, uh, bless her heart, sweet Kelly Kelly was like, I want to go to Hooters. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, no, what is, you know? And there was like a Hooters, like literally like maybe three blocks away from the hotel. And she's like, come to Hooters with me. And I was just like, you're going to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I, like, I wound up going to Hooters with her and I was just like, this wow. is, yeah, I was like, this isn't, uh, this isn't good. What like, was wrong with it? When you went, you felt people well, were staring. There were, there were no street lights, and we were we were walking, and they were just like you know. I mean, it was like a movie. There were just people like behind pillars, like looking at us, and Jeez. I was just like, Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that doesn't. I'm about to get killed good. for a shitty chicken wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I went. Ben you know, so I'm an shorts. idiot. I think Jonathan went. That's where is that where Roberto Duran is from? Uh, Panama. He is right. Is he Panamanian? Hmm. I'm trying to think where Duran is from because Jonathan just went there. He actually he knows Roberto, and he, he said it was. Very frightening. Like but, with him, you're fine. But he goes without it. He said you'd probably be killed. But you got to yeah. explain that to uh, CM Punk. He's my Jonathan, manager. Travels. This with, guy's crazy. He goes everywhere and the worst place in the world. He goes. 
and he knows somebody who knows Roberto Duran. So he was actually down there with him. So That's where he's from. Panama. Likes to go to bad places. Yeah, he's a weird yeah, guy. Yeah. For some awesome. reason. Really uh, bad places. I, I, I get that. I don't know. It is kind of adventurous when you think of yeah. an Indiana Jones ish kind of thing to do. But yeah. then you think of the reality. It's like, oh, I can actually be killed and well, it's like beheaded. We, we go to Iraq. You know, we went to Iraq, like, I mean, for it's eight years in a row, mm -hmm. you know, on Christmas. And, like, yeah. you know, you think that's safe. Oh, you're fine. You're with the military. You know, we, you know, Vince. We need to go to the forward most operating bases and yeah. we need to do that. And like, I, I was on a base and the oldest Marine was like 21 years old. It was like a, it was like a base. <laughs> They're that all they just didn't giant even have fans. You're like, <laughs> oh my God, fans are watching. It was, it was <laughs> unbelievable. Me. And I was like, okay, well, what's the, uh, you know, and they're like, oh, don't, don't stick your head up above the, the fence. Oh, you know, there's a big concrete fence. And of course, I was like, oh, great. So there's, there's clearly, and I was like, yeah. well, what's on the other side of the fence? And they're like, Fallujah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. I'm gonna stick my head up, brother. <laughs> All right, great. We get it. <laughs> I went over there with Colin. We went to Iraq uh, between between seasons one and two, I think. Yep. And uh, we got mortar bombed. I didn't even know it. We, me and Dummy, slept through the whole thing. The next day, they're like <laughs> a fucking a mortar, mortar landed in the base. Yeah, and it just, but we had no idea that it happened. We just I fucking figured. slept through it. Yeah, that happened to us too. The one year, like you know, we were just like hanging around, and like all of a sudden, yeah. I was like, what was that? Oh, that was a, like a, a rocket. A yeah. mort oh, someone tried to kill us. Yeah, <laughs> That's basically what that was. That's Somebody fired a is. weapon to kill yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Have That's you gone to Afghanistan? Uh, yeah, the one year we went there, and uh, this year we're doing. Um, I, I don't. I don't want to say. Last year I think was Camden. Bragg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the last time we were in Camden, we were we were ready to leave, and then they they wouldn't let us leave uh, the the show. They said shots fired. You yeah, stay yeah, you got to It's it is in in some cases worse than Iraq or Afghanistan. Yeah, Camden, New Jersey, yep. <laughs> lovely place. To shots visit. fired. Don't stick your head up. Watch for the mortars. Sam's chomping at the bit oh, to get some wrestling. Sam. Enjoying the interview, but you're chomping at the bit to get some wrestling stuff done. Sam, you got to get some wrestling stuff done. Well, I was going to add based on what you said before. You said. You know, you go out there and do your thing, and sometimes, it, usually it works, but it, sometimes it doesn't. Like, mm -hmm. what hasn't worked? Um, oh, you put me on the spot. Hey, what a dumb you? question. Oh, man, Sam. Sam. Who's a guest? 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're trying to lift them up. We're trying to lift them up. Nothing, wallet, creep. Uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing super specific. Like Burning not, out I, his candle, huh? I don't know if anything <laughs> on TV. I, I, that I can name off the top of my head, but that's what the house shows are for. I go out there and I just I do stuff. You, you know? work out Try shit, shit out. Right? Yeah. Hey, who, you that's Hannibal cool. Lecter with that question? <laughs> what is your <laughs> worst wrestling I mean, memory? I, the the, the, <laughs> the straight edge society stuff to me like it didn't work because they they didn't uh, they didn't fully get behind it. Like to me, that was the best stuff I've ever done because yeah. I was doing like this borderline like evil sacrilegious stuff that this I just like kept Manson. I just kept slipping on TV and like everyone was missing all this stuff like I had stigmata on my hands and like I was doing like all this creepy like great I just didn't care I was like I want to offend everyone I had, I had a, an old woman like this grandma assault me uh, in Alabama, she leaned over the rail and she said, uh, you are not Jesus Christ and you will burn in hell for your sins. <laughs> wow. And then she hit me with a left hook. And I and, and I just, I leaned over, I grabbed the microphone and I said, I forgive you. And I, I, oh, I was trying to like, lay hands on her and like, Oh, so man. do you yeah, get they, mad when that happens? Are you like, oh, what a great moment this no, is? No, I'm 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 completely mental. Like That's I awesome. I'm 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 so in tune with like you know like the the old school guys used to get stabbed and <laughs> you know like uh, that was always my goal. Like to me, <laughs> to me <laughs> when I'm to me when I'm the bad guy, like that's the goals. thing. Like I, I know. you know, I, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I want my tires slashed, set my car on fire. Like you know, I want <laughs> I, I I really go with, for it. With that said, uh, what was the worst thing that happened? Uh, I don't. I don't think the old lady giving you the left the left hook was the worst thing. No, I've I've gotten. Uh, I mean, pre WWE, like I, I had I had gotten into a lot of a lot of fights with fans and stuff mm. like that. Um, I used. To, I mean, you know, when you're on the indies, and I was doing the straight edge thing in 1999, I would wrestle frequently in a Knights of Columbus in uh, West Dallas, Wisconsin. And the big the big draw was like they had you know one dollar beers or whatever. So this place would be packed with five hundred drunk people, no guardrails, no nothing. And then here's this skinny straight edge kid. I'm drug free. I'm alcohol free. I'm better than you. And there's no guardrails. People would start throwing beers, and I would just jump out of the ring and just you know I, I would just I would just chase people down the street like you know <laughs> that was yeah, yeah yeah it turned into it, like it got really bad after a while where wow. the promoters would be like please stop beating up the fans <laughs> <laughs> uh almost started a riot in the cow palace the last time i was there like um 
because that's the that's the great thing about wrestling the undertakers when the lights go out the crowd gets really oh, yeah. brave Bong. Yeah, and the light, you know, so people, you know, doing the normal, throwing pennies and and batteries and <laughs> oh, you know shit. whatever. And they, you know, next thing you know, a chair comes into the ring and wow. somebody else gets brave and thinks it's great. And I think it's on YouTube actually. It's pretty. It's you turn our screen on, Sam. It's pretty great. Yeah. yeah, Sam. Yeah, what stop are you thinking doing? Thinking of only you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you uh, have you always been drug free or did you did you do yeah. it? Long? Oh, you really never yeah. stopped. Wow. The, the tattoo says drug free. Yes, sir. So I thought maybe you quit. Jesus. Your whole so, life. Yeah. Never had a drink? No. Um, I, I think maybe I had like a sip of beer when my dad was cutting the grass or something like that. <laughs> yeah, one of those It never moments. interested you? No. Nothing? No. Wow. No addictive vices at all? Like you're just one of those guys. Some guys just don't get hooked on stuff. I, I'd say I probably i am addicted to stuff. I just don't, you know, nothing that's like, you know, mind-altering or... Right. Like that, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, I hear you. It's probably, yeah. probably on the same websites. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, but, uh, there was an awareness there yeah, between yeah, Jimmy and CM yeah. Punk. Yeah. 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 Communicating without words, right there. Is this the uh, almost riot? That that might be the almost riot. Yeah. Fuck. And I was really, I was really trying, you know. Yeah. You give me an inch, I, I will try to take a mile, and like. Uh, The Undertaker, obviously. <laughs> a lot of Samoans in the Cow Palace, too. So really? I probably, yeah, it, ah. I, it's certainly not a ride I would have won. It's a really long clip, unfortunately. Yeah. So, skip ahead. Um, I, I I can't remember what the match was. I do know I was tagging with Chris Jericho, and uh, uh -huh. I mean you see people just now they're throw throwing stuff. shit. Yeah, there's one gangster part where somebody actually throws something right at me, and I catch it. It's like a Dennis Eckersley oh, sidearm, and I just catch <laughs> it. Nice, like I'm Obi Wan or something. <laughs> um, no, but I, I Jericho was throwing a fit. Like, he was legit, like, stop throwing things, they're throwing things, and he ran to the back. Like, he... Oh, shit, really? He couldn't hack it. I think he got, I think he got hit with a D battery or something like that. <laughs> Oof. Uh, we only have a couple minutes left with CM, I'm here. Yeah. And we got to talk about Survivor Series at the very least. Yes. Well, have, you can keep the I'm, clip going I, in the I'm background. I'm apologizing to everybody that I'm, I, I know I'm supposed to be uh, selling on everybody on Survivor Series, but this is, this is just fun this for me. fun, so. man. No, I would, love, cool. I would Survivor love to stay series. all day. You know, you guys get real sick of me fast, though. <laughs> nah, no, not at all. Doubt that. <laughs> you seem like you're our kind. Are you in New York for a while? Or you got leaving today? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm staying. Okay. They, they wanted to fly me back home and then fly me back out, and I was just like, what? No. Yeah. I hate flights. I hate people. I hate airports. <laughs> <laughs> I hate. I hate TSA. Right, are you right. wearing? Are you wearing a belt? Oh, shut up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want a championship <laughs> belt, you. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, yeah, Survivor uh, Series this Sunday, the, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. I'm taking on Alberto Del Rio for the WWE title. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Are you going, Sam? So yeah, I'll be of there. Of course. Oh, you going. are going. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Of course. As a uh, professional, or are you going as I'm a still, spectator? Uh, right now, just a spectator, but I'm seeing if there's any openings. Are you working or on. Yeah, uh, yeah, seeing who needs Sam, management. And <laughs> Sam would love to work for I the I thought WWE. maybe as the press. No, no, no. no. Sam. Don't they pay you here? What do nope. You oh, no. Boy. Nope. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he gets a mere pittance yeah. Yeah. to work here. And uh, boy, is he looking for that WWE he gig. He wants to work for WWE, and he wants to be Sammy the Twink. And I'm like, that's just, it's, it's, it's not, it's not going to be a sellable <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you nervous should. before these matches? Are you? Uh, it's not like a dumb question, but it, you know it, no, is, it is. It, it is and it isn't. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know. Um, I'm sure you'd be able to relate. Like any, you know, like I do this so frequently that I actually I get excited if I get like uh, it'll dawn on me like oh whoa. I'm getting nervous. Oh, this is great. You know, like yeah, I still love yeah. this. You still, you still care. Yeah, yeah. Um, because there, there was, there was a while when I was just like, I was just a robot. I was just like, oh, here we go, another. You know, and it, and it was, it was kind of unfortunate because it's like, you know, like I always wanted to be on pay per view, and it was just like after a while, it was like, oh, another pay per view, <laughs> right. Yeah, but I, I always, and that, this was the, the whole genesis of me resigning was, it's like, look, you're, you're either gonna use me. To my capacity, which to me is, you know, uh, on top of everything and I can produce or, you know, you're, you're not. And, and if you're not, like, if you want to pay me millions of dollars and, you know, not use me, that's cool. Hmm. But I'm more happy when, you know, like I'm actually doing stuff and I'm busy mm -hmm. and I'm doing stuff like this. And, you right. know, like, I mean, I, I've been home, you know, two days this month already, just two whole days, you know, but 
I, if if I'm if I'm out there and I'm doing stuff and I'm on top and I'm I'm producing and it's fun and it's a good TV and it's entertaining, I'm happy. Two days. Yeah. Two days. What, what do you what do you do in those hotel rooms t- to make the time go by? Or or in these cities, do you do anything? Do you go out? Dude, and- I, I like you know I, I'm very fortunate that I get to go see the world and uh, you know so you take the, advantage the, the of the unfortunate it. part is you don't really get to see the world you're just like i see inside of the mm-hmm. hotels or buses or you know planes or whatever but uh yeah like last night i got in i got to my hotel and i just i just took off yeah we just hit the street and just walked around see what's and, going on you know nice i mean it's new york so it's yeah, you know yeah that, well new york's on. an easy one i'm talking yeah. about like des moines iowa or wherever I, the fuck else. i like i i work out too much so i like to go running so yeah, a lot yeah. of the times i'll you know, <laughs> <Jimmy> <laughs> you could have said yeah, something yeah. i relate to relate to less we gotta get him out yeah, yeah. he has to we go also, they're, they're in the year the same uh, he has to leave we have a bunch of copies of wwe 12 that we're gonna get to callers that I think Punk is signing the new game. Yes, I'll be signing. Stuff. Brock Lesnar's okay. on the cover, right? <laughs> he's like, he's yeah, not on the cover, he's but he's in the game. He's in the game. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was some kind of a, a thing with that. Yeah. yeah. All right. CM cool. Punk Survivor Series live on pay per view this Sunday and at CM Punk on Twitter. Yes, that is me. I will more than likely not reply to you or insult you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. Yeah. Yeah, it was great meeting you. I hope you come back, man. I, I, I would love to come back. Definitely, man. Yeah, be great. Time, man. All fun. right, cool. CM Thanks, Punk, guys. everyone. Serious XM. Hey, hey, hey. And now the Opie and Anthony show continues. continues. This is After ONA Live. Here's your host, Sam Roberts. This is CM Punk, and you're listening to After Opie and Anthony Live with Sam Roberts. Why don't we play that again? This is CM Punk, and you're listening to After Opie and Anthony Live with Sam Roberts. That's right. It's After Opie and Anthony Live, as CM Punk just told you. Look, that's the uh, that's the liner the guy wanted to cut. CM Punk came in here today. He did. He, he was a great guest. Like, I know. He blew off all the other liners for the rest of the show. He said, "That's the one I need to do." He goes, "Sam, first of all, and this is legit." He came in here, and uh, and he was saying hello to everybody. Uh, CM Punk was obviously a, a big fan of Norton, and he goes, uh, "Sam, good to see you." Off mic, he said that. He shook my hand, and said, "Sam, good to see you." Did you hear that, Eric? I witnessed it. What? You, you witnessed it? Through the window. I saw him shake your hand. Did you hear what he said? I couldn't hear it through the... He said, he said this. Sam, good to see you. You know what that means? He's a fan? It means he knows my name. It means CM Punk knows my name. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Because that's what we found out today. That was kind of the gist of the interview, that CM Punk knows who I am. And that was, to me, the most valuable thing to come away from that. Uh, and then he went back there, and I guess he just said, Look, Sam, I really want to cut... Some kind of intro, some kind of liner for the after show. That's kind of it was nice to do the interview with ONA and everything, but I would love to have some kind of presence on the after show. I said, "All right, Punk, if you really want to, go ahead, knock yourself out." And so we did, and uh, and it was great. We gave away a bunch of copies of WWE 12 the as well. The phone lit up for that. Twitter lit up for that. Well, it's it's uh, it's a very uh, uh, sought after game. It's it's highly anticipated. I think it comes out on Tuesday officially in stores. Uh, we had CM Punk sign a bunch of them, and we already gave them away. I don't have any more to give away on the after show today. And you've been having fun with it. You've posted uh, a couple times that you've been playing it. That's right, folks. Eric and myself got advanced copies of WWE 12. And, uh, yeah, it's an awesome game. Brock Lesnar's in it. He's unlockable, uh, which is big that Brock Lesnar is in the game uh, because he hasn't done anything with wrestling forever since he started doing MMA. He hasn't done a thing for with, with wrestling, and... If you read his book, he, he's not a, he didn't seem like a big fan of wrestling, but he's back in uh, the game, WWE 12, and he is, you do have to unlock him, but it takes, I mean, I don't know if you've played yet, Eric, but it takes 10 minutes of playing the game to unlock him. Brock Lesnar is the he's first one of the thing. first ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes 10 minutes to unlock him, uh, so, so that's They have nice. his whole, uh, his old music and his entrance and everything? Uh, yeah, but he has the new tattoos. Oh, okay. But he's got yeah, he's got his old music and he's f five and people all over the place. It's very cool. So uh, yeah, check the game out on Tuesday. But CM Punk, um, you know, I, he, I wasn't surprised. Travis and me were talking about this before. We knew he would be a great guest because he's uh, he's very good on the microphone. And it was only made better when we found out that he's a giant Jim Norton fan. That was the best thing he could have done walking in there and first pointing out that he loved Jim. Um, 
And yeah, it, it was because Norton is not a wrestling fan. But the minute uh, he realized that probably the biggest wrestler in the company right now, you know, I mean, John Cena's up there, Randy Orton's up there, but, you know, the first guy in a while to rise up and get to their level, as CM Punk has done, is not only a fan, but a quote-unquote huge fan of Jim Norton. Uh, it really made his day, uh, and so that was, that was, it, it was the best thing he could have done. To make this a good interview, like you said, did he sex uh, man? Did he tell you what he's doing after he was uh, done with this interview? Where he's going next? Punk? Yeah. No. He's going down to Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah, I heard about. He's that. going on top of the marquee with a bullhorn, and he's just going to complain about, uh, I guess, SummerSlam and the wrestling, and, and get everyone's attention. SummerSlam. I'm oh, sorry, I keep saying SummerSlam. Survivor Series. November. Uh, the game, all that stuff. He's going to be right on the marquee, so you can go down there to Madison Square Garden and see him yell at everybody. Well, I know at noon he is doing a thing at Madison Square Garden, uh, and I think the first 150 people there are going to get autographs and stuff. So go down at noon to Madison Square Garden and meet CM Punk yourself. And if you listen to him on ONA, let him know. Hey, heard you on ONA. Uh, I tweeted it out last night trying to get people to send messages to CM Punk on Twitter saying we're excited to have you on the show. And a lot of people did. A lot of people very pumped for CM Punk. Uh, so it was. It was, a, it was a very good interview. Eric, were you excited? Are you a big CM Punk fan? I, I, I have become in the last uh, last two years, I've become a bigger CM Punk fan. I know you were there since uh, the Ring of Honor days. You're just a bandwagon jumper. Okay, expert. <laughs> um, so you were excited to have him in here? I was very excited. Good. He did well. And, and, and especially these days with wrestlers coming in here, Opie and Anthony are not wrestling fans, and they've never claimed to be wrestling fans. So it is risky for a wrestler to come in here, but if you can come in and be cool and represent yourself properly, guess what? You're going to do all right, and that's what Punk did. Uh, this is what real fighting is, uh, Sam, oh, yeah. by the I way. See. This is real, not like the fake thing you went to. Yeah, big talk when CM Punk's not in here. Oof. <laughs> you asked, oh. Yeah, but, <laughs> he was you right know, there, and you asked him what it was like winning the title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, did he say that? You but asked him. But I didn't say what it's like. What did I say? I, I said, uh, but well, the, but something to that effect. Yeah, okay. But here's the deal. You look at CM Punk and you know he's a problem. Yeah. You know he would be a problem if you said the wrong thing. He seemed like a nice man, though. No, I liked him. I liked him a lot. He was very down to earth. I liked his honesty. I liked how he was just kind of letting it, letting it go. I haven't awesome. not liked one of those wrestlers. They've all been, every one of them that's come in has been great. Like, they're some of my favorite interviews. Those guys, UFC guys and boxers, I like them so much more than football players. or, or I like these guys, the wrestlers, <sighs> so much more. We don't even get, like, sports stars that are playing yeah, what, what you at, have? at the time. Yeah, we get him once in a while. Oh. Man, what's his name? Where he said his name the, wrong the whole time. Oh, so Charles Longs, yeah. But he didn't take his sunglasses off? What did he oh, say? Oh, God. It's ter Wait, it's, Terrell. We said it's, Terrell. It's Terrell. No, it's Terrell. No, it's Terrell. Oh, and you said Terrell. Yeah, because the whole world says Terrell. Of course. Right. The whole fucking world says Terrell, Terrell and, he, and, he, and he was correcting us. Stop it. How about Pete? Terrell. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> fucking asshole. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> he was not a nice guy, huh? He was, no, he was just you know he was there. His grandmother had Alzheimer's. I think that was the we were on, charity he was promoting. We were yeah. on, but we were on our best behavior, and he was just like, we Ugh, why? he was thinking, why am I even here? That's a good attitude. I th I think most of them are just boring. Honestly, I think most of them are boring. Mm. They don't. I, I just don't enjoy what they talk about. Just jocks. Yeah. yeah. 